What's going on, guys? Bar here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a good day today. We got two topics to talk about, and it's all about EA. It's all revolving around EA today, man. Anthem, if you guys don't know. Boom, done. Got the guillotine. Boom! No more Anthem. EA or Fireware, I guess, is just like, yeah, we're cutting. We're cutting sling load. There's literally nothing we can do to Anthem to uh, <laughs> make it, I guess. It's so funny to, to kind of think about Anthem, and we'll get into it. We'll talk about, like, you know, Anthem's kind of, you know, final day. I guess, of, of what they were uh, planning on doing with it, you know, re-releasing it to make it to where it actually fit where the hype was getting built up. Anthem, I remember the hype that was getting built up for Anthem, and I, 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 this is the thing. I remember the hype for Anthem, but I wasn't buying it. I never bought Anthem. Never bought it. Never played it. I never got, I never got into it, and, and it's funny to know that the feeling I was getting about Anthem, seeing the hype of it, and then all of a sudden when Anthem released and saw like all the bad things about Anthem, I was like, damn, dodged a bullet on that one. So we'll talk about Anthem. I'm going to give you guys my opinion about it. And uh, I'm not going to lie. It is kind of a shame that to know that, you know, the studio was trying to get it, uh, you know, to a point where, you know, fans were happy about it. But uh, apparently Bioware and EA just saying, you know what, let's just cut our losses right now and focus on other things. So we'll talk about that. Last thing I want to end on is that EA apparently, so IGN put out this article and it's titled EA is putting the future of franchises, including Titanfall, in the hands of the studios. You know, EA has multiple gaming studios. Respawn is one of them. I'm going to say this. I don't know how that's did any different than what it is now. Respawn has had full control of Titanfall all this time, but Apex has been making so much money. I mean, look at this. I got my Apex shirt on, man. Had the opportunity. Went to Respawn in LA. Got to play Apex before it got released. Had a great time. Great experience. I don't know if it's ever going to happen again. Uh, but, I mean, it makes so much money for Respawn. Apex make, Legends makes so much money for Respawn. Why would they actually take the time to make a Titanfall game when they have a Apex Legends game that makes them just money hand over fist? Like, why would you Why would you throw that away? And I, I think Respawn is not going to do that. And I don't, I don't think a Titanfall 3 is anywhere near in the future. I don't think it's ever going to happen because they've kind of seen exactly what makes the money. It's all about making money man especially ea you gotta make that money you gotta make the green respawn and other gaming studios it's not any different you gotta make money you gotta pay the bills gotta play pay your employees and they're gonna make the game whatever makes the most money and apex is just the way it is titanfall i think this is kind of it's it's not gonna it's not gonna make the bills it's not gonna make the amount of money that apex is i, I don't know i could be wrong but at least that's my opinion kind of going into this so first off let's talk about anthem Kind of getting the axe, man. And I, I'll say this. I'm a little disappointed because as somebody that never picked up Anthem, never bought it, um, I'm disappointed that it did not fulfill, one, on release, uh, it did not fulfill what people were wanting in that game. People, I mean, my God, it's crazy to know of seeing the E3 videos, the trailers, the gameplay, what it was, it was built up to be. And then Anthem on release was just like, what, what is this? Like, what? What? We were promised so much. I mean, that goes with any other game out there, man. I mean, even the Division the Division 1 and Division 2 showed gameplay, and it's just like, okay, the gameplay trailer is great, but it's nothing like the gameplay that we got when the game fully released. But Anthem is in a, in a long list of different games that have been released, uh, you know, in the past years, where it's, you know, either Fallout 76 or even Cyberpunk, which is a really recent example of games that are being released um, unfinished, in my opinion, and then a game developers are like, you know what, release, we release this product uh we're trying to make the quota we're trying to make some money for our studio and for our publisher and whatnot that's why we're releasing the game i mean let's be honest now uh but we'll fix it we'll we'll fix it in the long run we're gonna fix our game uh so you guys can play it now but we're gonna be fixing it later on so you guys can enjoy it uh so they tried man I, i'll give by word this they really did try to fix anthem um from what i understand actually you know what i take that back you know what? I've read actual articles where it was only like 30 some odd people were working on Anthem. And if they were really, I, I, at least th this is my opinion, I feel like if they were really dedicated to fixing Anthem uh, and making this new IP for Bioware and, and putting a lot of effort and time into it, um, I think Anthem could have been something, but I... I, I I don't think anybody had any confidence in it. I really don't. I mean, you had Mass Effect Andromeda that kind of fell flat on its face. 
Um, and, and you had things like, you know, Battlefield 5. I know there was another EA thing, but then it, there was DICE. So there's a lot of things, at least when it comes to games out there, to where it's just like, okay, where do we want to put our focus on? What do we? What, what makes us the most amount of money? I mean, that's the big overall goal. What makes us the overall amount of, amount of money is the is the uh, the lost reputation, the lost goodwill that we had about Anthem being released unfinished, and now we're trying to fit we're trying to fix on it. Is it going to make us money in the long run? And Bioware, I think, kind of just came up with saying, hey, no, it's not going to make. You know, it's not going to make anything better. It's just it, we're putting some work into it. Uh, it. It's not working up to where we want it to be. Um, and they just kind of said, you know what, we're kind of done with it. We don't want to. And that's kind of the sucky thing about it is because, you know, it, it, it is all about money. You're, you know, these EA, the, you know, EA, the publisher, or even the studios, it's all about making money. And they got to the point where, you know what, the amount of work they were putting into it was not going to be effectively earning as much money as, uh, you know, the work and the amount of time that they put into it. So I, I get that aspect of it. It is it, it's sad, though, man. And, and, I, and I hate it, too, because, again, like I said, recently in the past couple of years, games have been coming out unfinished. And apparently we want to work on them later on instead of, you know, releasing a, a game that... Uh, is fully, you know what, good to go. There's no issues and no bugs. It's exactly the way that was advertised, exactly the way the trailer was shown. Uh, and it's just not the case these past couple of years. But I mean, there's there's some games here and there that are exactly the way they're advertised. But man, I, I, I feel bad. I feel bad for Anthem. But I mean, the focus that they were putting under that, they're going to be able to put into, uh, you know, Mass Effect or even Dragon Age is what they kind of talked about as well. But yeah, man, sad, sad day, but maybe, you know what, Anthem 2 might come out. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> they might have to build up a lot of goodwill. But, um, I mean, uh, hopefully, you know, later down the line, maybe there's something that improves it. And, uh, you know, maybe an Anthem 2 might be able to uh, build up a bigger fan base. I, who knows, man, at this point. So anyway, let's talk about this EA thing. So IGN puts out this article. EA is putting the future of franchises, including Titanfall, in the hands of studios. Now, I will say this. I think it's really funny. Even in the article, even in the article, read this article, run down it. All of a sudden, there's a line saying, hey, the overall decision for games and stuff like that still comes to EA. So it's funny to know. You look at this and it's saying, oh, it's putting the, oh, that's awesome. Putting the hand, putting the fran the studio's hands, uh, you know, in control of the franchise and stuff like that. Titanfall too, or Titanfall, you know, whatnot. And uh, yeah, even in there, it says, you know, EA ha literally has overall uh, uh, control over, you know, what gets published and what gets pushed out. So it's like, oh, so they really don't. <laughs> um, I, I, they're, okay, so reading through this, there's a lot of funny things, a lot of goofy stuff. I won't really bore you with uh, some of the things that, you know, just running through this. I, I read it, and I was just like, oh my God, get to the, get to the, get to the point. So uh, a couple of funny things I want to point out. It, uh, there's the, um, uh, let's see, this Laura uh, lady, she is the chief studio officer for EA, um, and she is the one that's getting quoted in this and, and interviewed by it. Uh, but I do find a couple of funny things in here. So in terms of gaming development philosophy, our players are the, are all always the north star oh my god even even just reading it out loud it sounds like utter bs like is that just me is the north the players the players are the north star no 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 no. we're not the north star we are the paycheck you guys are making money off of us and we're buying your product even if it's good or bad including you know what happened to anthem um so stop with this BS, even it was funny to know that even Respawn was finding so damn hard to make Fallen Order, it being a single player game, and all EA wanted to do was like, oh, we're making live service games, oh, it's gonna make us all time some money, and Respawn fought really hard to get a single player game out there, and finally EA finally said, hey, you know, we're we're, we're we can release it. So I'm looking at stuff like this, I'm like, dude, it's just like it's such BS, man. I hate stuff like this where it's like. Uh, you're saying one thing, and it's like, no, that's not that's not what you mean at all, and, and it's kind of full of shit. But um, kind of going through this stuff, it, 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 you read this article, and it talks about, you know, Battlefront 2, how Battlefront 2 was a, a game that had a lot of it had issues when it got released, um, but people were trying to put in a lot of work and effort, and ter sure enough, DICE was able to put in a lot of work into Battlefront 2 to where it was a damn good game until, again, just like... Anthem, they stopped updating the game, they stopped, you know, doing anything to it, um, and they were focusing all on, DICE was focusing all on Battlefield 6 um, to be a game. So, in here it talks about EA is trying to make the players happy, but even though um, we try to make the, you know, we try to make 100% of the players happy, even though that's impossible to be able to do that, and they kind of leave... Uh, 
Battlefront 2 is like one of those examples. But anyway, we actually get into the port or the part where uh, talking about Titanfall, uh, the franchise and respawn and whatnot. So other franchises where players uh, may not necessarily feel they've gotten everything they wanted lately is Titanfall. Though Titanfall um, has a dedicated community, uh, community of fans, right now developers Respawn currently appear to be focusing on the Battle Royale taking place in the universe Apex Legends rather than on a new main series game. That does not necessarily mean it's the end of Titanfall proper, though uh, Laura confirms that Respawn is fully in control of what happens to the franchise in the future, who will make decisions based on, once again, what players want. Again, I don't I, I, I don't believe that. I don't. I really don't. I don't believe that the studios design games for what players want. They design it for what makes money. D does making money and what players want work hand in hand? Yeah, sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. But when it comes to Titanfall, it didn't make as much money as Apex Legends does now uh, when it comes to cosmetic items and, and the battle pass and all this stuff. So do I see Respawn taking Titanfall to the next level, making Titanfall 3 in a trilogy? No. I, I, I don't. I, I, I don't. Unless they're able to find some type of formula to where they're able to make the most amount of money that Apex Legends is right now. Uh, maybe. But Titanfall 2 kind of showed it that, you know what? <laughs> it, it tried, man. Titanfall 2 is a great game. Great multiplayer game. Great single player game. Uh, even Frontier Defense. Amazing. However, it wasn't able to bring in a lot of people. It was not able to bring in a, a large community that battle royales are able to do right now or the call of duty franchise or the battlefield franchise and stuff like that so i don't even want to say maybe a titanfall 3 later down the line because even people at respawn saying yeah no it's not happening it's not happening even though i'm kind of shooting the crap saying oh no that, that means it is happening or you know there is always a chance but um i don't think it's going to be happening even though for for all the fluff that this article was talked about with um studios having contr control over their over their franchises and whatnot it's all about what makes the money, man. What pays the bills? What plays in employees? And what makes them, you know, go up to the next step in, 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 in the forms of a business? Titanfall just didn't do it. Apex Legends is doing it right now. Other franchises that, you know, Titanfall is, or Respawn is, is, is making um, is going to pay the bills. And Titanfall is just not it. I mean, that's at least in my opinion. Look, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of different franchises that EA has control of. Dead Space... I mean, it, the list goes on and on. And amazing franchises that EA has, but are single-player games, they don't make that much money. How, how can you how can you make so much money off a, a Dead Space remaster and whatnot? Even I I I would buy a Dead a Dead Space remaster, but I mean, it's just even Army of Two. There was another game that people were saying, hey, you no know, remastered this. People would buy this, but again, it's single-player games. It's all about live service, all about battle royale, all about battle pass. What makes the most amount of money? Anthem just wasn't doing it. And even though this article comes out saying, hey, you know what, studios have the power, it's all, it's all in their hands. What makes EA money and what makes studios money is going to be the key uh, that pretty much decides on what game is made and what game is not. It's not about the players. It might be a little bit, but it's not about the players. It's about the money. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys my opinion about Anthem as well as this uh, article about the franchise on Titanfall. But uh, all to me, man. It is what it is. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Have a great rest of the day, and I look forward to talking to you guys all next time.